Hi friends, in front of me I have a box of 20 of the best skincare items that I've picked out, skincare accessories as well, under $20. And I'm really excited to get into this with you because it's so effective. It's not that it's just at a great price point, it is super effective skincare for mature skin. I'm 56 and I use all of this and I love every bit of it for different reasons. We're gonna get right into it. I wanna talk about cleansers to start with. One of the best cleansers you can get to take off your eye makeup or any waterproof makeup that you might have is the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water. This is the waterproof one takes everything off you can see that it has a little bit of oil there in the top you just shake this i put it right into my hand and then just smear my face with it and take all of my makeup off it's highly effective and i love this stuff however there is another thing that i want to talk to you about i talk to you about this all the time when i'm talking about taking off makeup and that is these towels right here these are the hair's extra the, these towels are microfiber towels and I kid you not they're the best ones I've ever had They stay fluffy whereas other microfiber towels will through the washing of them and using of them They kind of lose that fluffy part of them. That's super soft and helps take off makeup These stay fluffy forever and I'm not kidding I get every drop of my mascara off even if it's waterproof and then I'll just rinse it out Go in with my second cleanse, which is the La Roche Posay. This one is so good. It's for normal to dry skin. It's hydrating, gentle cleanser. It goes in, it takes off every bit of oil or any excess that you might have left over residual from taking off your other makeup with an oilier product. And it just gets your skin squeaky clean and get your skin primed for being able to accept all of the serums and the other skincare that you're gonna use. I will rinse the towel in between these two and then use this towel again, rinse it again, and then you know wipe my face so that I make sure everything is really just very, very cleansed. The other one that you can use that I have found that is really nice as well are these towels right here. These are great if you're going on a trip somewhere. You don't wanna to have to carry your washcloths with you. These will work just as good in taking off your makeup. The other nice thing about this is if I'm at home and I don't want to, you know, just throw this away immediately. Look how big these are, by the way. If I don't want to just throw them away immediately, I'll reuse them. So I'll rinse them out really well after I'm done cleansing and using them as cloths and then I'll just let them dry and then the next day I'll use them again. So you can reuse these. They're very tough. These are biodegradable by the way. Um, there's 50 of these in here and I really do like using these as far as you know getting a clean one every time. Some people have an aversion to using towels like this and they like using something that is biodegradable. Just depends on your preferences. One side of this is a little bit more rough than the other side but I love this. After you've cleansed everything, you may want to do some sort of exfoliation. I like to do an exfoliation at that point, especially if I'm going to be putting makeup on for the day. Then I want to have my skin as smooth as possible. And I love the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. You put a little bit of this in your hand, little bit of water and it makes the most beautiful lather and the ingredients in there slough off your dead skin very very gently i will lots of times use this after i use the micellar water with the oil in it because it's great as a second cleanse too so you wouldn't have to use the la roche posay you could just put in the good molecules pineapple powder it's a great one for cleansing and it's really good for a gentle exfoliator every day without having any harsh grit in it at all the next one that i have does have a little bit of grit in it but it's very fine and it's not rough at all and this is beauty of joseon ground rice and honey glow mask this will polish your skin so well and then that honey gives you the glow because it is very hydrating afterwards and like i said this isn't super gritty it does have some grit in it i'm not saying that it doesn't but it feels so finely milled that it just feels like it's going to polish not really scrape or rub or grind anything off on your face if that makes sense so this is another one i love and i love how just beautiful and smooth your skin looks after you use this because you're getting every bit of dead skin off after this the next one i should have said at the very beginning but look how cute these are i use these to hold my hair back when i'm doing 
my skincare and i thought these were so different because you know they do have that puffy one that looks like a princess tiara and everybody's got it but i just like these i actually wear these on days that not i'm not necessarily wanting to do my hair as well but i thought these braided ones these chunky braided headbands were so cute to hold back your hair and you get four of them in there and i think there's a couple different color choices to pick from now, if you have super dehydrated under eyes and you find that your concealer is not looking that good, you might wanna consider trying an eye mask like these right here. These are from Green Tangerine. It's a Vita C eye gel patch. And I'll tell you why I really love these because they're different than other patches I've ever seen before. They are super thin, way, way thin compared to anything I've ever seen. They hug your eyes. You know, the thicker ones, I don't know why they don't hug your eyes, but these ones do. And they also have this little like texture in them. So they grip your eyes. It's just so different for me to be able to explain. And until you get these, you don't really know how good they are. And the other thing is that once they adhere to your eyes, it's almost like having you know, when sometimes you have a Band-Aid on or something, get a little bit of sweat underneath there. This is like churning and marinating underneath your eyes. These are really cool and I really have appreciated them. As far as brightening and everything, I'm not sure that that's really doing much for my eyes, but I am here to tell you that this plumps up and smooths out my under eyes for the concealer that I put on and my concealer looks 10 times better than when I don't use these. Another serum, that does something totally different than just, you know, work as an anti-aging agent on your face is from Benton. And this is the Deep Green Tea Toner. Now, I've said this before, I've used countless, by there goes my glasses. I've used countless bottles of this, but this is a green tea you put on your face, you wait 20 minutes, and then you use your LED mask. Why would you do that? Why would you wait that amount of time? You wanna let that penetrate into your skin and wait for it, 10 times the effectiveness of that LED mask is what you're going to be getting. Now, to me, that's pretty dang impressive. I don't mind if I get up first thing, splash this on my face and wait 20 minutes while I'm brushing my teeth or whatever I'm doing to put my LED mask on. But we know that the benefits of an LED mask is it helps with the deep wrinkles, it helps with puffiness, it helps with healing and inflammation and dark spots, all the good yummy things that we want as we age and we get the wrinkles and they drive us crazy. But this baby is going to amplify that. So I have purchased this over and over again, love it and use it for that specific purpose only. I do have another one of Benton's products. This is the Snail Bee Ultimate Toner. What is so cool about this one is that not only does it have the snail mucin that everybody loves from Cosar X, and it's a, that's a super hydrator. It has the bee venom in, a, in it, which is also another super hydrator, but a very calming agent, believe that one or not. And it has six different kinds of peptides in it, including copper peptides. I think that is fantastic. I love that. And you're also getting Saccharomyces in it. What Saccharomyces is, is it's a fermentation process that is a super brightener. This is a powerhouse toner. And I love that it's a toner because it's super watery for one thing. So layering it is not going to be a problem. You're just gonna layer it on your skin and it's gonna sink right in. And then you can put a bunch of more layers on there if you want to, but this just on its own is one of the best serums that you can use for aging skin. It's gonna attack elasticity, wrinkles, brightness, age spots, all the things. So definitely this is one of my very favorites. And the other thing I love about this, look how big it is. And normally we get one ounce, you know, one ounce like down here. So what could be better than getting a huge product like this and being able to use it and get so many benefits. Now, this is, I'm, I say this wrong every time it's, uh, I'm just gonna spell it. S-C-I-N-I-C. I don't know how to say it and I'm not gonna try. But this is the first treatment essence, Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate 90%. So 90% of this is Galactomyces that you're getting. Again, Galactomyces is when they found that fermentation process through when they were making beer or they were making wine and they were noticing as they were using it in their hands, you know, 100 years ago or whenever. 
and they were noticing that their hands were looking youth, more youthful, more bright. Their dark spots were going away. Their wrinkles, wrinkles were going away. This is your product. Oh, so good. Just love it. And if you'll notice, so many of the ones in here that I have are definitely very thin products. I love to layer. And so all of these are very thin products. You know what I will also do as I'm listing all of these, because you know I have a number system. You've seen these numbers come up on the screen as I've been talking. You just have to remember the number and then go down and shop the product down in the description box. But I will also, next to that product, I will put in parentheses whether I use it in the evening or the morning so that you know which one I trade off and which one I do. Because obviously I don't do all these steps at once, obviously. But here's the one that I discovered this year that I'm so excited about. This is from Asterwood. It's a triple repair serum, anti-aging serum with hyaluronic acid. It has Matrixyl 3000, Argireline, and vitamin C. Why is this so important to you? Is because Matrixyl 3000 has been found to really tackle those dynamic fold wrinkles, which is our nasal labial folds. I also have some skin falling right here and I had some huge wrinkles starting right here. And that's where I have noticed the biggest change is right through there. I wish that I could say that I've noticed it on my neck. My neck is about losing so much weight and it getting to be a little bit flabby. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Our Zeroline is a peptide that is also known to relax our muscles underneath our skin so that we don't get such bad frown lines, crow's feet, the forehead wrinkles, anywhere we get those really strong pull with the muscle. This has been known to relax that and the vitamin C, you know, is brightening. Also, I have a product from Numbuzin number five, and this one is the vitamin concentrated serum. And this one has so many good ingredients for brightening. Now I was noticing that I was getting terrible redness and then just terrible age spots, probably from the sun, you know, too much sun exposure. And then I was getting it really across my chest a lot too. And I've been using this and this has been lightening everything. And I've noticed the most lightening across that redness across my cheeks. Little bit doing good over here on the sun damage, but mostly the redness is just fading. So it's got that those ingredients that help that so very much. Oh, let me show you a couple more things that I use in conjunction with the tools I use. Now, if you do any micro needling or pen needling or anything like that, have you found that doing your forehead is a bugger? Because it hurts so bad to do my forehead when I do the needling. Oh my word, I just, I can't get over how much that hurts. But I did find this numbing cream. This is uber numb. It has the highest strength of lidocaine that you can buy over the counter in it. So I will just slather this stuff on my forehead. And you know, sometimes I do a little bit around my crow's feet out here. And if I do that, I'll slather there too, cause that's a little bit much. And then my upper lip, yeah, around those lips, those are sensitive too. So I slather that, I will let it set for however long it says. I usually let it set five or 10 minutes. I'll slather it again, let it set for another five minutes, then wash it off and then do your microneedling. You wanna have clean, dry skin to do your microneedling. But this is so good and it helps out so much with that particular problem of having so much pain while I'm doing that. Another tool for your feet. Have you ever tried a glass foot file. If you have not, I want to highly encourage you to try a glass foot file. I have recently developed the worst calluses since I went through menopause on the bottoms of my feet. Dry skin, just building up and it's just because my skin's changing without that estrogen in it so much. So glass foot file and these are perf this is perforated right here. So this is kind of sharp. Don't let any little hands near it. Don't use it anywhere else on your body. It takes down the skin very quickly. So you have to be careful when you're using it. I use it right after I get out of the tub or the shower because then that skin is really loosened up and you know, it's kind of got a little bit of moisture in it and boy, this just takes off so much. And if you're doing it for the first time, you might have to do it two or three times in a row right away in order for it to get everything off. But once you get it off there and you start moisturizing your feet, I, and then I put socks on personally. But once you do that, you're gonna notice how soft your feet are. If you have cracking around your heels, this is gonna help with that as well. This has really saved me as far as, you know, making that switch over to menopausal skin on my feet, which I don't get. My dad had the smoothest feet his whole life, but my mother has terrible dry cracks all over her heels. And we use this on her for sure too. All right, if you are tackling 
around the eyes and you're wanting something that is really good to be able to help with all of the problems that are around our eyes, crow's feet, really bad wrinkles that crease, even the saggy loose skin on our eyelids. This is from Beauty of Joseon and this is called Eye Revive and this is a retinol cream that you can use morning and night. Don't be afraid to use it just because it says that it's a retinol because as long as you're using a good SPF, you're fine. But this has helped especially the wrinkly skin on my eyelid. It's helped so much. Don't be afraid to go clear over here in your eye either because lots of people will just, you know, do the under eye and they figure that's really all they can do because some of these creams say keep away from eyes. Why does an eye cream ever say keep away from eyes? I'm just thinking, man, that is weird. But anyway, I put a little tiny pump in my hand like that. That's less than a pea size. I pat it between my fingers and then it goes all the way around my whole eye socket, the whole entire orbital bone. And then I'll work it out just a little bit, but it's going to go into that inner corner of my eyes because I was getting such bad wrinkles in there. Couldn't figure out why. And finally figured out I'm not getting any product in there because you know, I'm wanting to stay away from my eyes. But if you're careful, you're not going to get it in there. You're just going to get the skin and you're going to get the benefits of using a product like this with retinol. It has other great ingredients in it as well, but the retinol is the one that takes care of the wrinkles and it's really good hydrator too. This is a serum gel like product. So this isn't necessarily a cream that you would use at the last. Now, when we're talking about a vitamin C serum that we want to use for brightening, vitamin C is so important for brightening our skin keeping the free radicals. It's an antioxidant. It is fantastic. This is a vitamin C complex serum from Naturium and it has in it gold. Yes, you heard me right. There's gold in here. Gold stabilizes vitamin C so that the strength of the vitamin C can be a little bit more, but it can be stabilized so that you don't have to use it so fast. You know, they talk about vitamin C being unstable and then when you use it and it is unstable, it's just adding more stressors to your skin. This one doesn't because it is gold stabilized. So I want to tell you that this one right here is probably my very favorite vitamin C of all time that I know is stabilized because I can layer with it and it gives me all the yummy benefits that vitamin C does of the protection throughout the day and the brightening and all those great benefits. Let's do one thing that I want to tell you about for your makeup and making your makeup look really good. Just like I talked about the eye patches plumping up. This is an essence from Numbuzin and this is number four and this is the hydrating glow mineral essence. Now this not only will hydrate your skin, plump it everything up so that your makeup will look so pretty on top of it, but it also gives you that deep glow, that beautiful glow. So you get that glow that peeks through and just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this stuff. If I go through my skincare and then I put on makeup way later, I'm going to just pat this on my face a little bit to give a little boost of hydration right before I go in with my makeup. But you can always put this on as a last step right before your moisturizer or your SPF as well. This is a really great one under makeup. And if you want to talk about revitalizing your makeup during the day or using that extra boost shot right before you put on your makeup, this is one that I've just discovered and this is a gloriously pretty, oh, this is so pretty. So this is D'Alba and it's Piedmont First Spray Serum Hydrated and Radiant Skin Double Layer Serum Enriched with White Truffle from Italy. So first of all, that's really cool that it's got white truffle and it sounds really fancy, but you can see that it's separating right there. So all you do is you shake it up and then you go ahead and you just spray and it has a super fine mist. So if you're finding yourself being really dry throughout the day, you just spray this on and you're going to get that revitalizing of your makeup. It's going to make your makeup look plumped again. You can use it before. You can use it throughout the day if you're feeling dry. You can use it throughout the day if you don't have any makeup on and you're feeling dry. It's that yummy and that nice. I really like this. I will caution you if you don't like fragrance, this does have a little bit of fragrance in it. Fragrances don't bother me, but I always like to tell you about them that that does have a little bit, but a beautiful spray to be able to re revitalize your makeup. Also want to tell you about a moisturizer. This one I cheated on a little bit and I'll tell you why. 
and I actually think I'm cheating because I think there's going to be like 22 products in here, not just 20, but I cheated because this is the Hada Labo Night Cream Gel, and the one that is under $20 is the Daytime Gel from Hada Labo, and this has just chocked full of hyaluronic acids in it. It's got multi-layer hyaluronic acids in it, which gives you so much hydration. And the, the morning one does too. But what's beautiful about this is it's got a little bit of urea in it, which is a super hydrator. So you are going to lock all of these gorgeous serums you have. You're going to lock them in, whether you're using the daytime one or whether you're using the nighttime one. This is a great moisturizer. It's not super heavy. It does hydrate like no other. So I do love Hada Labo. I love their line, but I really love those two moisturizers. And last but not least is what I have from Beauty of Joseon. One more time. I love this brand. Can you tell? Beauty of Joseon, Naturium. Yeah, those are, you know, I got some loves here. This one is the Relief Sun Plus Rice Plus Probiotics, the SPF 50 plus, 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 but it's got five pluses. Normally you only have four. This one is so pretty because if you do have that little bit more combo oily skin, or if you have normal skin and you're putting all of these things on and you're not wanting to overload your skin, you're still getting this gorgeous, gorgeous SPF that looks absolutely fabulous underneath makeup, but this is super thin. Oh my word, I love a good, super thin SPF that's not going to give me any flashback and it's not going to interrupt anything that I have on my skin. It's a pretty good hydrator, but I would say that if you have dry skin or combo dry normal skin, you need a little bit more hydration than this. But if you're putting all this other stuff on, especially something like Super Hydrator, and I was really impressed with how well it did underneath makeup as well. So I want you to take a look at this video right here because this is also a product. This isn't under $20, but it is a product that I was hyper over the moon impressed with that looks so good on my skin. I want you to take a look at that product right there. If you have the time, go over and peek at this video because one of my favorite products I have ever discovered. Take care of yourselves. Love you much. See you soon. Bye.